Hey everybody, this is uh, Han Kahet from WPGN, and at the moment we are going to teach you how to add Steam or add Steam Smite, Smite Steam, add Smite to Steam so you can run it through Steam and have your controller work. Uh, that is a separate video which I will link in the bottom to this video. So what you're going on, yeah, what you're going to want to do is uh, you want Steam open, obviously and you will need to find your smite icon that it places on your desktop when you install the game so this little bugger right here is the first thing that you'll need so what you do is you right click you click copy okay now you open up an explorer you go to your c drive program files they just, basically wherever you install uh, smite 2 which should be c program 80 program files 86 or program files if you're on uh a 32-bit system uh, and then you will go through and you will find your high-res studios folder now what you will do here is once you've copied your smite icon you will paste that in this folder so now your icon is in this folder this does not affect the way the game runs at all it is not a hack it does not do anything but make it easier to run smite through steam so once that is in there you, you know, where did I take this from? Okay, you open up your Steam. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come up to Games way up here on the top and click Add a non-Steam game to my library. Uh, once you click that, it will generate this retardedly long list or very short list depending on how many games and programs you have installed on your computer. Uh, so you'll scroll down and you need to find Smite. Uh, which will show up like this. You just put a little checkbox next to it and then click Add Selected Programs. Now, when you go to your games list, Smite will show up on your games list. But, you may notice that when you click play, it will give you an error telling you that it cannot run within the parameters that it's given. So, this is how you fix that. You come down here, right click on Smite, click Properties. Uh, you're going to leave this alone. You're going to leave the start in section alone. The only thing you're changing is the target. Um, so you might notice that mine says something different, but yours will say high res launcher UI.exe. So basically, what you want to do is you see how it's in quotes there? You want to move just behind the quote and only delete the high res launcher UI.exe. So you delete that and you replace it with just smite because that will point at the shortcut that you have copied and placed in your file which will properly launch the high res launcher within the parameters that Steam can use. So you do that and voila. Now it will launch smite. Uh, you can do it in uh, analog mode, which is this, or you can go into big picture mode, and you can launch it from here. I recommend using big picture mode to launch Smite if you're going to use a controller with it, but I don't really think that it matters. I think you can do it either way. Um, but yeah. So, and be sure to plug in your controller before you launch Smite, otherwise Steam may not recognize your controller. Uh, I don't know about that yet for sure, but that's how it works. Now, so there you go. That is how to run Smite and get it, you know, into Steam so you can run it from Steam. I uh, hope this was helpful. Um, I think that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, whatever you feel like doing, and I will catch you later.